Hey folks, T Hondo here, and welcome back to Captain of Industry. This is episode 40. In the last episode, the major accomplishment is this charming little block. It's absolutely delightful. This gets all our basic resources, construction parts, electronics, mechanical parts, everything all together and sort of working together when there's power. Right. Yes, power is definitely something we're interested in. We are, in fact, working towards that right now. I know it says water recovery. That's only because it's a requisite. I don't, in the slightest measure, actually care about the water recovery. It's this one I'm after, the power. This will give us an extra three megawatts of power, and that will be excellent. So hopefully this doesn't take too long to get, and hopefully the diesel generators can keep us going until that time. The other thing I did a bunch of last time is upgrading settlements like these guys I brought all the way up to four and did precisely nothing. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm ever going to bother doing the rest of them. I don't know. Maybe these guys I haven't done anything at all. So I mean I guess at some point I will but it seems very low priority since it doesn't seem to do much. Unless maybe it does something later. As it was when we got the upgraded cargo modules that start telling me about contracts even though I thought I'd already seen them so maybe it is tied to research in some way so I'm not going to completely discount it but it seems pretty low priority anyway oh yeah we also did some more housing blocks which is why we actually 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 good sentence let's try that again which is why we actually have enough uh, people to work at all this stuff all right well, let's just speed along here we're just basically waiting on the research Thank you, that's the water recovery. Not interested, thank you so much. I mean, I guess we, at some point we may want that, but it's really low priority. But we definitely have to do something about giant mound of garbage. And it's all slag, as far as I know. If I find a truck that's going here to prove that. Yeah, it's all slag. And I just don't know what we can do with that. I don't remember ever seeing anything in here. And of course, this is just going to show me what uses slag or creates it. But I will buzz through here super quick and see if I see anything that actually uses slag. Yeah, I mean, we can crush it. And then that gives us the crushed gravel. Could I possibly ramp this up enough to be significant? Yeah, we already have too much crushed slag as it is. What uses the crushed slag? What am I even doing with it? What am I doing with it? That's an excellent question. Okay, yes, so you are using it as one option, but you have so much of it that you're not interested in doing any more. Is there any way I can make sand more often and gravel less often? No, because you really want... Hmm. I definitely have to have the gravel to get the sand going, so I don't think I can really do this in a way that forces this, right? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I, mean, we, I can ramp up con concrete usage, I suppose, but that only partially solves the problem. I suppose I could just prioritize the slag stuff as higher that will slightly help but it's still always going to be it's always going to be a problem so new refugees thank you for that uh, we can probably pull in one more and then I'll shut the beacon off and then just let them naturally grow the last few yeah I know we're desperate for power but at least we now have enough research parts that all three research labs are going. Because for quite a while, one of them was off entirely. So that at least is a very good thing. Which means we can hopefully blitz through that research pretty quick. We are so rough on power. Hurry, please. Please hurry. Because I definitely need to get something in here working on this. Okay, so it looks like there's a... Okay, it's going to be a new building, a low-pressure turbine. So I can't even pre-build it because I don't have that building yet. So I can't even have this ready to go. Fair enough, we'll just have to wait for it. Right, here with the cooling tower I don't want. I just want the little 
mark to be removed. It wouldn't even seem so bad if I had somewhere in range I could be sending the ship. Just so we had something going on, but these are all too far away. I suppose I could... Oh, I don't want to use yellow parts, though. Yellows were still kind of bad on because we're catching up the reds from all that building. So I don't even want, really want to use yellow parts on. No, we'll just wait. Okay, there's some refugees. That's probably enough. I'll just let the rest of them come in through natural growth. That's fine. We have enough workers now. It's really non-critical. There we go. Power generation. That is what we're waiting on. Let's get this sorted immediately. Okay. So we have a low pressure turbine, which only needs the steam, which it's going to have to get from you. So we're going to have to get rid of this. And just to verify, that is the only thing this is doing, right? Yes. So that is absolutely 100% safe to remove. Thank you so much. Okay. And this is then going to have its own kind of output. Oh, I guess that's going to need its own flywheels, right? So it's, it might need another whole setup like this. I don't really have room for that unless... So I either can bring it all the way down here or all the way up here. Not sure which way would be better. Yeah, I really don't know which way is better. This setup is not good. <laughs> Alright, exactly how many squares do I need for this? Okay, your singletons. There should probably be two of them. And then the flywheel. One, two, three, four, five. Looks like six or seven. So maybe 10 squares beyond the actual turbine itself. Yeah, I don't think that's going to fit in here. All right, it's coming down here. It's going to be really awkward to pipe it, but I think it's going to have to be down here. So the actual turbines, so it looks like they will be going, I want them coming down. So yes, it looks like you are going to be here. Well, this is going to be awful to pipe in, but we're going to do it. We are going to make this work. So let's just start with a clean slate of pipes here. Okay. Alright. Transport. Regular pipe. So you are going to come out of here. Okay, I need to get you past all this. So I probably need to raise you over all this. Around all this. Down here. Work your way over and through all this mess and into there. Okay, that actually isn't terrible. It's not, I, mean, I don't like it, but it's not terrible. The output steam depleted, I assume, simply wants to be done through a basic smokestack. Yeah, that looks like steam depleted right there. Congratulations, you will be an incredibly short pipe. I definitely do not want to waste a lot of space on this. Good. Okay, so that's the in and the out in terms of gases. Now we need the actual mechanical power, which I guess I can simply grab from as a copy of this. There we go. Yeah, that's fine. You connect straight like that. And then our two flywheels. And I don't know if I actually need two of them or if one would be enough, but I'm just going to do two just so it's the same. Do I have enough room here or do I need to move this pipe? Yes, I need to move this pipe. No problem, we can absolutely do that. Not the whole thing, just this part. Yes. This is a water pipe, so we definitely need to get that rebuilt quickly. Okay. And we'll simply move it down a few squares. And cut it across like so. There, that sorts you out, and then we can copy you, like so. 
Okay. That, I think, should do it. Yeah, temporarily we're extremely bad on. So in fact, I might want to just quick build this stuff just to get this rolling again. Because at least if this is spinning back up, then main power will come back on quickly. Yeah, there it goes. Okay. So normal power is back, so we haven't lost too much. So now we're just waiting on them to build basically the bonus power. Which of course needs yellow parts, but that's normal. And I do see like yellow parts are happening, so it's not the end of the world here. Now electronics is still a bit low, but that's fine. Yeah, for now you're just not really doing anything. You're receiving this steam and then just ignoring it, so that's fine. Is there anything I can do temporarily to get you going quicker? Probably not. As far as I can tell, you are working at full speed. Yeah, I think it's just going to have to be just a patience thing. Okay. Having said that, apparently none of you can get here anymore. Oh, right, right, right. Because this is now a far worse mess. Right. Okay. So this line here cannot go here. Because this, I think, is the only part that I changed that could have wrecked that, right? Because I moved this to, oh no, maybe it's coming in through here even. Right. Well, I'm going to assume it is this part here that's the problem, and try to work around that. By bringing you up a crazy amount. I might need to get rid of some more of this, actually. Oh, hang on a second. No, this does not. No, 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 no. Do not build that. That was starting to connect to this one. That's not at all correct. Let's try this again. So you connect here. You go up a couple. Cut across a couple so there's room. Then come back down and connect to... Well, that's hideous enough. To you. Okay. That's better. And that should be enough for them to get here. Yes, I know you were desperate for that to happen. There you go. Thank you. These should now be accessible, I think. Maybe not still. Maybe this bit here is still a problem. In fact, maybe it's this. Oh no, this should be... This was up two squares, right? Or is this only one? Maybe that's only one. Okay, no problem. We'll just do it again. I thought I had done two, but maybe I did not. Surely they can get in through here now, right? Surely. Right. Yeah, I'm not like completely. Well, can they not drive past this section anymore? Well, I mean. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah. <laughs> So what can I improve here to make this easier? Well, I have a lot less stuff here. But, <laughs> but what immediately can I do that would make this section easier? Is it this pipe? I mean, maybe it is this pipe. All right. Well, let's raise it as well, I guess.
Okay. There you go. Have that. There we go. Okay, so that was what was blocking you. You couldn't get in through here. Is that really the path you were taking? Really? I'll take your word for it, but that seems bad. <laughs> no, it wasn't you. Who was it that was trying to get in here? I don't know. But anyway, they apparently sorted that out. So they are apparently happy with that. Fair enough. Oh, I see. They want to come out and up here. It's a fascinating way of doing that. But if that's what they want to do, I'm not going to stop them. Anyway, that part's sorted. You are up and spinning up. Which in turn means this will soon start here. And again, I don't know if I need... Yeah, I guess these are three megawatt flywheels. And you, well, I mean, you produce three megawatts. All right, this one says six, so maybe I really only do need one. In fact, I'm pretty sure I do, because that's all that this is going to have. So I don't think I even need this one. So maybe I will just not build it, and that will save a lot of parts. Because I don't think this one's ever going to spin a second one anyway. Right? This only generates three, and this uses... Oh, wait, hang on. No, this does 2.4. Never mind. I do need a second one. Sorry, guys. My fault entirely. I misread that. Does that then mean I actually need a third flywheel here? Excuse me, not flywheel. The actual generator. So if this does six, these each only do 2.4. That's only 4.8. Congratulations, have a third one. I wonder how long I've been missing out on power, because this clearly has been spinning full time for a long time now, because we've been low on power. Like, I know when I first put it in, I wasn't using that much power, so it was hardly ever spinning at all. That's probably why I didn't notice. But clearly, that should help. So yeah, we just need more yellow parts there. And you probably... Okay, so it's just yellow parts. We actually have enough electronics, even though it's looking pretty low. That was a fascinating... <laughs> fascinating journey you took there, sir. But as long as you're happy, I guess we'll go with that. The tree's doing... You're just about done your section. And you've got a little ways to go, but then you're almost done. And then I can put you guys back here. Yes, you are built. You are spun up. It looks like pretty well. Stop, please. Not the tower. This thing. Thank you. Yeah, so you are ready for this. You just don't. We don't currently need that power. Okay. That's not because of you. It just I guess I just am using less power right now. Probably because I'm not researching anything, which is something we should definitely fix. So what shall we get next? Alright. Let's try and get over somewhere near where we are. Okay. Right. So that was power sorted. And that does lead on way down here to better ones. Okay, purple parts. We get. We're nowhere near that. Let's just completely forget that. Even that we even looked at that. A better electrolyzer that uses acid. Okay. Now, how is that more efficient? Is it just quicker, or where's my current electrolysis? So my current process. Oh, I see. I'm losing some every time. Okay. By using water, whereas if I use acid... Wherever that went... Where did that go? Okay. What is happening here? How have I, how have I lost where I was? <laughs> Sorry, I completely and utterly 
I've lost where I was. There it is. Okay. So why did you not see the electrolysis when I... Never mind. Whatever. Anyway. So if I can get acid relatively easily, then I can get my copper at full. So how do I get acid? Looks like the simple process through sulfur processing I can already do in the mixer using sulfur and water. Okay. Yeah, I don't mind giving away sulfur. A little more water, that's fine. Yeah, all right. So what that means is maybe it's time to start actually bringing in sulfur. So maybe what I will do is I will use this one here, which is currently doing quartz and is bored the rest of the time, and put in a sulfur draw. Because while we have a lot of sulfur on hand, we aren't bringing in any more. So yes, let's do that. So which kind of storage does sulfur use? I'm assuming it's loose. Yes, it is. Okay. But you are not going to be quartz. You're going to be sulfur. There we go. And I guess we may as well... have a storage for it directly, right? It does not need to be a long trip. But you are not going to be quartz, you're going to be sulfur. Thank you so much. And that is a U-shaped quartz. You will never export products once that's up. Okay. Then we will want a mixer. So, I just need access to water. Where do I have easy access? he says while staring at the ocean, to not terribly busy, clean water. Your disgusting waters. There is no ground water near us, so I think it's going to have to end up being over here somewhere. Sour water. You seem not terribly busy. Actually, the current electrolysis uses water anyway, right? So if I just am switching it, why don't I just use that same... Then the actual acid can be local, right? I think that's relatively clever. Okay, so... Besides the water coming in on... Looks like it's this way. So if I put you, say, there... Nope, that's you there. Never mind. Let's try that again. This would be so much easier if I could see. <laughs> okay, so we're going to be something like this. That's a bit close to this ramp, though. So maybe we'll do it on this side. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay. So just like that, you are going to be making acid out of sulfur. Thank you so much. Right, piping in your just general water. That's easy. No problem. Sulfur is mean, definitely going to have to be trucked in anyway, so I wonder if it's worth having a storage for it. Probably. At least a small one. I don't know if I really need a full size one. So I might just do a small mask. Nah, forget it. We'll just do it. If you're going to do it, do it properly. But we'll put it as close as we can so as to leave room for trucks through here. Is it U shaped? Is it not? Did I do the wrong one? Right, you would be sulfur, right? And you can see exactly what I've done. I mean, I see it now. You see it now. It's the same thing I've done about a billion times. <laughs> Put the stupid thing in sideways. Right. There we go. But I'm glad that it, it at least tells you that when you try and hook it up. Because otherwise I would have built the thing, 
probably had it half loaded. We want to make sure we always have some sulfur here. Okay, so that's the sulfur in, that's the water in. Now we just need the acid out. And I probably should seriously consider moving this electrolysis down here and putting in acid storage here. And I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. So temporarily, we're going to have an extra electrolyzer that we don't really need, but that's totally fine. Actually, you can just run. I'll just, show, I'll just get rid of this one entirely. That's fine. That'll make some room for the acid. Storage, which I have to assume is just basic fluid, right? Yes. So you are going to be, if I do it kind of like this, it's going to be a very tight pipe, but then at least these outputs going to be facing the right way. So I think that's going to be more useful. I guess it's not even a very long pipe either. There we go. And just in case there's ever any doubt, you are explicitly that. Okay. Right. What would also help would be, I guess, if I actually researched that so I could start doing it, right? <laughs> so that was an option. There we go. Okay. Because obviously, until this is actually researched, I can't do anything with this. So there's kind of no point in building this. I guess I'll just do an upgrade on it rather than mess around. But we'll keep an eye on you. If you get too busy, then I will plumb in the water so that this thing can help. But well, I guess for now, they are just going to truck it in, right? So I guess yeah, I don't even need to really do anything. All right, fair enough. When that's a little bit closer, I'll just have to disconnect the water and then re the pipes around a bit. But that should be pretty easy to do, because I'm assuming the water input will just be up here, maybe here. But I have to assume it'll be on the same side as the water used to be, and that I don't have to rip these out and turn them around or anything. All right, let's let that get going. We're waiting on all this to build anyway, so it's really not anything what I would call urgent. Okay, so I'm assuming I cut all that, and I have to assume I did because nothing was happening. Uh, that research is just about done, and they've built a fair bit of this, not 100%, but they've got the mixer in place at least. There we go, there's our copper refinement, thank you so much. Now, you cannot just be upgraded, you have to be... Oh no, sorry, I don't have to upgrade you at all, I just have to tell you that you can use that recipe. Okay, so I'll say you can use that recipe. Okay, yes, so you do, in fact, come in off that same line. That will work just fine. Okay, so that will get you plumbed in. And once that's the case... And actually, since water can be just trucked in, I could actually just disconnect this part immediately, even though it's not quite ready yet. And get the piping in place so it's ready to go directly. Cut you across and back in. There we go. So, I mean, that's hideous, but that should do the job. Once this is in place, all I have then have to do is say no longer use this inefficient one. And that'll be fine. Okay, so you are now going. We don't have the storage built yet, so it's not automated, but they are at least willing to do this. So yes, now we can say please stop doing the water version. This one finished because it's already going, but then we'll stop it. 
so there's no point in wasting that bit that's already done. Clean the little bits of water out because we don't need them, and there we go. We are now more efficient on copper. All this time we were only getting 13 sixteenths of our possible copper. However did we survive? <laughs> there we go. And sulfur is here. Dropped off. This is now completely automated. All assuming sulfur keeps coming in, but it's now completely automated. And we seem to be having no trouble keeping up with the flow, so I don't need to worry about bigger pipes or any of that. Groundwater... this is coming down. While I was in the process, like the part that I cut, it did rain, so I was watching it go up, and it doesn't really go up all that much. So water, I think, is going to be a problem at some point, but not right now. Meanwhile, down here, yep, sulfur has arrived. In fact, we've already dropped off a full load of it. Cool. Okay. Oh, I never did the actual depot upgrade itself. Why did I never do those? Interesting. Not sure why I never did that. And what exactly does that get me? Oh, I see. I'll be allowed to have more... Yeah, because it's just it's a twice as long, so I could have more output options. Oh, very nice. Yeah, absolutely. Let's do that. If I can. It may not fit very well here, but I suppose we can try it. But yeah, I don't see any reason why we shouldn't have to do these upgrades. Whether we actually ever put those extra ones in or not is completely separate, but there's no reason that we shouldn't at least have the option to, right? Anyway, I think we are going to call things there for today. We made some excellent progress. I wasn't even aware of this copper upgrade, so that was a pure bonus. But we did accomplish the main goal for today, which was getting low steam producing power instead of just being thrown away because now we're just throwing away this depleted steam which is I mean it's no difference I guess than throwing away the low steam in terms of pollution because there isn't any but we get free power out of it so very good so thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed and if you did please leave a like and a comment and if you haven't already please do subscribe it really does help other than that we'll catch you in the next one have a good one see ya